the workout that I have prepared to go over today is, is a dual purpose in that uh, it's not extremely specific to leg tuck, but uh, it is gonna touch on that component of uh, synchronization, activation, uh, but we're also gonna get after performance elements in regards to the two mile run. So the workout is called Sabre, S-A-B-R, Sabre Filthy 50. So S, Ski Erg, the A and the B is Assault Bike, and the R is Rower. So you're gonna do 50 cows a piece on each of those pieces of equipment. Uh, it's up to you how you want to break it up, whether that's, uh, you know, 5, 10 cows, ski or jump on the assault bike or, or knock out all your calories per piece of equipment and then move on. Uh, but that's all it is, is 50 cows per piece of equipment. Uh, so this is the ski erg, which is actually short for ski ergometer. Uh, we're doing this exercise to, like I mentioned, emphasize the mechanics of the movement for leg tuck. So trying to get those lats involved with that downward pull. We want to make sure, number one, that we are leading with the hips initially to initiate that pull. And then we also want to make sure we are recovering fully with the handles. Leading with the hips, finishing with those arms, driving it down, much like as the name indicates, we are skiing and then uh, letting those handles recover fully overhead. And then again, initiating that next pull by pushing back to those hips. The movement here, as you can see, is gonna be uh, um, kind of what I alluded to with the ski erg is really driving those elbows past the torso. So getting those lats a little more involved with this one. And uh, general technique, you know, this is gonna be a combination of upper and lower body. Really wanna drive through those feet, uh, feet legs initially, pumping those pedals, but then we want to get those uh, that upper body involved, and and again, uh, a component of that is going to be the lats. So really, uh, pushing and pulling through each of those handles, uh, and if possible, making sure those elbows get past that that torso. And then rower. So this is the last one. Same thing here. 50 calories, and you may have to cycle through that display until you hit it. Uh, basic technique here is we want to drive through the feet, legs, lower body, uh, and then finish that movement with a, a good pull with from the upper body. Uh, other other keys to kind of be aware of here are we're, we're trying to keep the tension on the on the chain that's attached to that handle there. So we want to get a, a full recovery um, down with that handle and then initiate that next pull through the feet, drive those feet uh, through the floor is the cue I like to use, but you know, through, through those foot rests and then uh, once we get near full uh, ankle, knee, hip extension, we'll finish that movement with a, a good pull to the upper body. And that's, uh, again, where we're going to look at some of that carryover uh, and emphasis in terms of exercise technique with the uh, lat engagement on that, that pull component. For the core component, this is definitely top. This is my top core exercise, if not top exercise almost overall. This is such a great exercise. This is called stir the pot. Uh, the goal here is to form a, a plank on top of the stability ball and then pretty much execute what the name infers. And that is act like you're stirring a pot both directions. The higher you press up out of that uh, plank, the harder it's going to be. So if you do need to modify, go ahead and sink down into it. Uh, you could also modify further by uh, either A, keeping a static position, a static plank or B, uh, going just forwards and backwards instead of multi-directional uh, and that stir the pot motion. But the great thing about these is we're working on core stability, core tightness, gonna have a lot better transference than uh, say something like sit-ups, which, which is just a, a straight flexion extension exercise. Uh, especially if, if we're taking into account anything that's load carriage related, right? So we're, we're stabilizing proximally enhance basically our athleticism. So any movement that occurs, it, the, the prereq is that we are uh, stable and, uh, and, and tight in that, in that core torso region.